the Yankees play their home games about an hour away from Fairfield, Connecticut, where Michael Fishman grew up loving math and stratomatic baseball. He has spent over a decade and a half with the Yankees now, for whom he is currently a vice president and an assistant general manager. Let's hear from Michael with Jack and Meredith. Thanks, Bob. Michael, you're clearly no stranger to this set. We've had you just about every year, and I know coming to winter meetings, there is an awful lot of preparation that goes into it. So what's your process in evaluating the free agent market and what you guys might potentially do in the offseason? Yeah, it's a it's a long process. The, it starts long in advance. Well, we're really working on it while we're still playing during the season and during the postseason. Um, we have a large team in the office as well as our scouts are kind of doing a uh, um, in-depth look at each of the free agents, and they go through a process of uh, of ranking each player by by position, um, and then as well as putting together an overall board. Then we'll have our uh, free agent meetings with our with our scouts and our analysts, whole front office staff together, and discuss go through one by one each player. Um, certain players we're gonna focus on more as they fit our roster better and spend more time on them and then uh, and then just continue to uh, get, kind of get involved. Uh, other departments as well get the player development, uh, look at each player to send some players for them to look at in terms of what we can improve with players and beyond what the players are right now, what they what they can be, um, as well as uh, really just getting um, all, all input from all, all different areas to really get the sense of what everybody is as we kind of have the evaluation lined up heading into here to make kind of decisions the rest of the offseason. When those evaluations Evaluations are happening, Michael. What are some of the bullet points that stand out the most for you that make you get up from your desk and say, I got to go tell Brian Cashman or Matt Ferry or whomever this <laughs> right now? Yeah, it's, and some some of the things are, are a player who may have had a, a down year, and there are indicators that it, it was unlucky or that he can be better with things we think we can improve with a player on why he can be a better player moving forward than he was the past year and maybe there's an opportunity to uh, to get a, a, a player that can, can be better than he was and, and really help us moving forward. Over the years, who do you think has been your best find, one that maybe nobody else was keyed in on and you saw a little something and took it to Cashman and the rest of the group and wound up working out very well for you guys. Yeah, I mean, there. I think one of the more talked about examples was Nick Swisher back in the day. Of he, when we got him, it was coming off of a of a down year, um, and uh, the underlying we saw that he, he was actually the more like who he was in the past when he had been a successful player, and uh, and uh, so kind of went, went from there and had the discussions about what what he what what he what he could what he could be and what he what he was really was beyond what some of the underlying some of the surface numbers were the year before. Every team uses analytics, but I've had this conversation with David Cohn where if you replace the word analytics with information, I think everyone would embrace it. But there is a certain segment of fan and observer that sometimes want to attach negativity to analytics. How would you describe to those folks why analytics are important to a successfully run organization? Yeah, it's 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 really just using information in the best way, trying to trying to get trying to be the most predictive of what what's going to happen. Uh, um, and it's and it's really um, how to how to use information to affect decisions, um, and and really why wouldn't you want to do that? Um, it, it can be a bad word at times, um, but but really it's about trying to get them get them get the most information to the decision makers and uh, and, and and really in a predictive sense of what can what what this information is telling you about the future. I think several years ago when we spoke to you, the department was not very big, but I know it has grown by leaps and bounds since then. So exactly what does the department look like now? Take us inside because I know a lot of Yankees fans would love to know how it all goes down. Yeah, with, I mean, within the analytics department, uh, you know, David Grabner is now the, the director of quantitative analysis, um, and he's got a, a large team of analysts uh, you know, working underneath him. Um, that it, in, a, in a mix, we have a group that are that are focused on the research of uh, of using all the data we have to try and uh, come up with uh, statistical models to that are predictive of, you know, of player performance and, ver and various other factors and various other things. And we also have uh, analysts within each of the sub departments within baseball operations that are focused on their specific areas, whether it's an amateur scouting analyst or a player development analyst, uh, performance sign analyst, analyst who are just focused on those specific areas. Meredith, you have to forgive me for my final question. I'm going down a little bit of a rabbit hole here. We've talked about Stratomatic, the board game, and how yeah. much you and I both enjoyed that game. So I have to ask you, 
the 2022 Aaron Judge Stratomatic baseball card. How excited would you be able to take those two dice and roll them? Because you know with that Judge card, there's going to be a pretty positive result. Yeah, you know you have good odds rolling with that one. I'm looking forward to seeing what that one looks like. I expect to see a lot of, a lot of home runs and a lot of on base on that, on that card. Um, but, yeah, it would, it would definitely be one, uh, one I'd want to have on my Stratomatic team. Now we're going to have to have a game. I want to take the Aaron Judge card, though, Meredith. I, I want to know if there's any insight on Aaron Judge. You got anything for us, Michael? Uh, I'm just focused on the Stratomatic game right now. <laughs> I had a feeling you were going to say that. Thank you so much for the time.